this video we are going to build something amazing something that you really care about as a business owner or any startup founder for the lead generation the most important thing that you need is the good amount of lead list right but in the last video we have covered uh, automation where we have built a small marketing funnel using apollo and na10 with the help of apf ap5 but in this video the major challenge comes when people ask okay apollo is little costly how can we scrape the free leads data from the internet using google only is that possible so for example let's say i am going to this google and search for marketers uh in arizona okay so if i search in this term you will find like there are too many people who have done good seo friendly things for their businesses and you can see their websites also so can we scrape their contact list or contact data from here and build a list that actually works okay so this is something that we are going to work on and this is some simple automation that i have built today which helps us to scrape the leads into a form of google sheet and you can see here i have generated a few uh, leads just with a small chat input from the netian okay so let's get into it and understand how this whole flow works and how we can build together for free without any api key without anything else that we are needed okay so in the last video we have built a lead scraping system where we have used apollo but in this video we are going to use just the google search api okay not the exactly api but the google search uh url you would say okay so let for uh, let me show you how it works so for example if i say here um can you help me to get all marketers in uh you can say a specific new york okay if i search here it will start working good and it will go to the google search term and it will filter all the websites from the google match maps and it will give me the results and it is going to work again and again and keep adding the data into the list like you can see here this is the new account added okay and this is keep adding it until it finds the right data from the list okay it is doing again if it the, the contact found it will add a new contact here again so this is something you can see here and you can see here there are all a lot of data which is not refined but we can work on it and add more data layers over the period of time okay so how this whole system works how this uh, whole uh, uh, framework will let me walk you through it so firstly i am using the n8 n you are already familiar with the n8 n so i am just not going to teach you anything uh, related to the n8 n just focusing on the flow only so you can see this is the a uh, chat node which I, i triggered when i start the chat from here it will go to the basic rlm which is connected to the, my open api model and here i have given the simple prompt this prompt tell actually to convert this uh, the user prompt into a url for example this is the google url and you need actually to add this keyword so what it does it will take the user's input and if i tick the uh, text uh, uh, click on the execute button it will give me the url like this marketers plus in new york so this is exactly how the google wants the url to be and few messages like uh, what exactly you want to do this is not useful but i'll just keep for the reference purposes now this is the scan step you have to just go to this url https://google.com/maps/search okay and you have to add this the output parameter from tagging and dropping here make sure you don't have to choose any pair parameter you have to just go to the add options button and enable the ignore ssl issue and turn it on this is important because uh, you are doing this uh, in a random manner so that google does not ignore your request and you will find the whole data from the website so this is the all on the data that our website uh, that we have fetched using the get request now i have used a code so parameter here so here i have added a code here this is a simple code that you can directly write in the gpt i will also drop in my telegram group which all i always do and uh, uh, you will see here like this input chat here i have just collected the user data and using a simple regex which is going to scrape all the data matlab all the url from the uh, you can say the google search results and it will fetch all the unique relevant data and also give me the root domains only 
So it is going to trim the data and just give me the root URL so that I can go to the home page and search for their contact list. Now I have filtered that and filter all the unique routes, not the, uh, the repetitive URLs. And then I will uh, take the domains and when I hit execute this filter, it will give me all the data. But in this data, you will find there are a whole lot of Google links also, which is not useful for our case. We just need actual URL that is working for uh, companies. So inside the six pages, you can see that there are too many Google pages, but we need only the marketing or the branding or a specific URL that is related to company. For this, we have used a filter option where I have added multiple filters, which where I have ignored the website, which have terms like Google, GStatic, Schema, GGPT, which is Google Photos, Calendly, or some small uh, things that is related to the Google or not directly related to the uh, businesses. Okay, these are the some third party URLs which user usually put into the Google search. Now, when I execute this step, I will get the specifically 23 records, which is you can see these are the unique websites of the each marketing agencies in the New York. Now, I have gone to and added another loop that is the loop uh, of like loop in the net and loop node and it is loop over the each item and once I loop over I have just added one another HTTP node which is just going to hit or uh, you can say the website directly so when I click on this button okay so it is going to hit this website for example G media and it is going to get all the data like all the static data from the website this is the only scraping the static data we are not into the dynamic data but most of the websites are wordpress websites so they always put the data in the static format so that they can rank on google okay so you can see here i have added all the data from like except all the data from this and similar here also you have to ignore the ssl because you are going to hit from the n n now you have to add a one second wait because this is going to take a little time so you're not going to take a look and i have another an if statement where if any error occurred while fetching the HTTP request, it is just going to loop over to the another website so that it the, the flow does not break in the meantime. After it, you have to add one other, I have already added one and the code block, which code block is actually fetching all the records from the websites and basically it is wait over it, it is going to take the statement and then it's going to uh, check like how many emails are there in this particular data that we have scraped so it is going to find like you can see that two data i have scraped from this whole website data right now i have added an if statement like if there are emails in the website data you have to add those emails into the google sheet otherwise you have to go and loop over the data again so if it find the google sheet i have added one google sheet which is simple google sheet here which have one column called url emails and data i can add more layers over it and add more filtration to filter out more data but i'm just taking it and making it simpler to scrape the emails because emails are so important so i have taken these emails and uh, i have just uh, collected this email using this execute method so I just added an if statement and when this condition happens, I just added my Google account. So you can follow my other videos if you want to add my Google account uh, into anything. It is very easy from using the Google console APIs. And you have to just add your URL and add a seed or list from the Google list and just map the list. Like for example, here I'm ma mapping the email address. And if I want to add more data, for example, the HTTPS for data or the data script from the website, I can easily add it here. But I'm just going to take it simple and I can execute this. This is going to add my data to the Google Sheet. Fantastic. You have added a whole lot of things uh, like you have scraped a good amount of emails and this is going to loop over and over again until you have connected all your 23 records into your website, uh, to your Google Sheet. Now you can use this data. You can do more things here. For example, you can uh, filter out the repetitive emails. You can filter out or you can add your uh, user first name, last name, business details, business about the business, and you can add more layer of LLM models to scrape the data from here onwards. So this is the simplest thing that I have found useful, which is important to scrape the data from the Google, uh, Google My Business. I am going to use this model in, uh, and uh, I'm going to play around with this in a week. And I will. I think uh, this is a good thing. Like if I'm going to share 
how I felt and how this worked in my Telegram channel, I think that is also useful for you. In the last video, the Google, the scraper that I have been using the pillow, it's working so much fine and I have refined it much better so that I am able to do more and more things better. If you want to learn more specific kind of use, use cases using the N810 or any kind of automation, please drop in the comments below. I will try to build it out, out for you. Thanks. Thanks for watching and keep improving. Keep working. Bye-bye.